my story. So August 29th of last year, 2022, I was diagnosed with an advanced form of quickly dividing cells that were located in my lung. Uh, they did lots of cell testing to determine my course of treatment. I was very shocked by the news because it really didn't make sense because I've always lived a very healthy lifestyle and treated my body like the temple I wanted it to be and basically want to live till I'm 99. <laughs> so I was first did a test on September 6th um, to show the extent of the inflammation that was in my lungs. Um, it did not turn out ideal. Um, they were very shocked to see this going on since I was a very healthy individual. And the shock of the tests kind of put me in a very stressful situation. I lost 10 pounds, didn't really want or need to lose that weight. Um, I felt like I lost all my muscle mass and sleeping was a big issue because when you're dealing with stress, it definitely affects your sleep um, relatedly. And I'd already dealt with insomnia stuff in the past, so this was just a next level of, of insomnia for sure. Um, so I started working on my diet. Even though I had a really great diet, I really wanted to make sure I was in a very low inflammation diet. That was no sugar, um, which a lot of people think is no fun. But, you know, when you're really trying to get yourself in a really good space, you would do anything. Um, so after the doctors did all the testing, um, they came up with a course of action. Um, and I had my first uh, infusion of treatment on September 21st. And uh, they said I wouldn't feel anything. They said, you know, this type of therapy, it actually supports your immune system. Um, you may feel a little tiredness, which I was already kind of used to because I was a mom of a four and six year old. So tiredness was second nature to me. Um, five days later, I started to develop a cough. And this cough, I've never had coughs in my life, so I always deal with sinus stuff. Um, kept getting worse and worse and worse, and they had no clue what was going on. Um, they gave me antibiotics, steroids, inhalers, the whole gamut, and nothing was helping. Um, I had an x-ray done to show a lot of inflammation in my lung. So at this point, we were not going to proceed with any additional drug therapy since I was having such a hypersensitive reaction. Uh, three weeks later, I found out that this was the wrong course of treatment based on additional cell testing and that my course of treatment was going to change. But at this point, my body was so inflamed that we couldn't do anything. And at that point, I really dove into biohacking, and that's how I found Suzanne, um, my little angel over there. <laughs> so I walked into her center, and I was looking for um, a biohacking device uh, called a Beamer Mat, and I fell upon the patches there. She was like, you know, I have this for you, but there's something else I really want to talk to you about. And, you know, and when you're that sick and you're that tired of being sick, you get really desperate, and you're like, Put band-aids all over me, I don't care. If it's gonna make me feel better, or you think this is gonna help, let's try it. You know, you kind of get to that point. There was nothing else going in my body. I'm cool with that, you know, it was supporting my body. So I started patching October 21st. I have it marked in my calendar and I'll never forget. And you know, I didn't even tell my husband I was doing this because <laughs> he's like, what are you doing now? You know, type of thing. So Within two days, I was back to Wonder Woman. I felt amazing. I had so much energy. Even though I wasn't sleeping through the night yet, I still woke up with a ton of energy. I was able to start working out again um, to kind of build back my muscles and just, I felt so weak um, from everything. And so I told him five days later <laughs> what was going on or what I was doing. And he supported me, you know, he's like, as long as you feel good, you know, you have like my, my spirit, my joy, everything was back, you know, times 10. And so um, the cough took a few more weeks to dissolve itself. But um, then I started sleeping through the night. After um, a couple weeks of patching, I was using mostly just the 39 and then the Aeon to support a lot of inflammation at night. Um, you know, I was really desperate. So around three weeks, um, I noticed my skin was changing. I wasn't, wasn't anything I was going after. 
it was just what I was noticing in the body was just so smooth everywhere. Like I'm the type of person that gets out of the shower and I want to put lotion on right away. I don't have to do that anymore. Sometimes I'll take a bath and do a detox bath and I don't need to put lotion on right away, which is kind of nice because I I'm time crunching everything with two kids. I had told my doctors that I wasn't ready to put anything else in my body right now until I had a repeat test of the initial one that they did in September uh, 6. So we did another test protocol on uh, December 29th. And this repeat test showed that I no longer had any dividing cells in several areas of my body and that they were all dying off. Um, they initially told me I had a certain amount, and now I had a fraction of that. So I was feeling great, obviously, um, and it just kept getting better. Each month, I had more and more energy. Um, three months in, I actually noticed that my cycle was back to normal. I was back to a 28-day cycle, which I haven't had since I had my daughter four years ago. I've even worked with my OBGYN. I worked with a hormone doctor to regulate my cycle because I felt like that was a real big issue with my insomnia. So I'm on my fifth month now, and my cycle is still normal. Um, my nails are so healthy and thick. Um, I've never had issues with my hair growing, obviously, um, but I notice it grows even faster, and my husband patches as well with just the 39, and his hair is getting darker again and thicker, and he has a very stressful job, so that has been helping a lot. I had him start using the Aon about a month ago, but he was using just 39 for a good three months, just three months, and he's actually very good about it. He puts it on before I tell him to put it on, <laughs> so I'm very proud of him for taking charge on that. So I actually just had a call with my doctor one hour ago. Uh, I had a repeat test done uh, last Thursday. She, it still shows no inflammation going on. There's no cells dividing, and anything that is left is still shrinking. So I am thrilled to say that I am in remission. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to get emotional like this, but... I haven't had a chance to say it out loud, and um, I meant to start this off by saying um, that this testimony is going to be a way of sharing with some friends and family that I hadn't told what was going on because I didn't want to stress them out, and I just feel that the least amount of stress that you can have in your life, the better everyone is. So. Um, that is my story. <laughs> I really didn't want to cry. Um, and I'm just more than thrilled to just feel like so strong and just really wonder, wonder woman. <laughs> so I'll turn it back to Suzanne. I know she may have a question or something. I sure do. Well, we told you that tonight was going to be special and we're not finished yet. Because Nikki has become like a daughter to me. <laughs> and the joy of this results, and I would like Jan to put the picture up for us now. Now, we're being cautious so that we can stay in a compliant mode and that nothing will happen to this. But we, don't want, we know that when we talk about fast-growing stem cells, fast-growing cells out of control, all of you know what we're talking about. So, Nikki, tell us about this picture. So, the one on the left is for my first test in September 6th. I mean, the one on the right, sorry, where I have it circled in red. Those are the fast dividing cells. Uh, they told me there was over 20 of these things growing um, in my neck, lungs, um, area. And the picture on the left is actually from December. Um, the late December picture. I had to request my images because they don't just give them to you. <laughs> um, and I'm like, I had to request it twice. I'm like, why is it all black? I don't understand. And I made an appointment with the radiologist to understand what am I looking at here, you know, and he explained it all to me and um, was very supportive of how my body was doing <laughs> um, without any any drug therapy. I still am not taking any. Um, I don't, I'm just scared of the side effects. You know, I had side effects with the first one I wasn't supposed to feel. 
the second form they want me on is a pill form, um, which is great because I kind of have that in my control with how much to take. Um, but I just had a phone call with my doctor literally an hour ago and I told him I'm not ready. You know, and he's like, that's fine. There's no rush. You know, you're doing great. Yada, yada, yada. Um, and just, you know, doctors, they study, they study medicine. <laughs> so <laughs> I can appreciate what they do for others that really need it. And um, this is me. And this is how I plan to stay until I'm 99. And um, I know what I need to do to support my body. And I'm beyond thankful for David Schmidt's technology to helping me get this inflammation down. I mean, the cough was very scary. Um, I was choking half the time just from every time I lay down. That's why I, I didn't sleep for almost a month because every time I lay down, I would choke. Um, and yes. and that's when you came into the center, came into that's our wellness center um, because she could hardly speak because the cough was so persistent and she was choking as she was talking. So we determined exactly what our outcome and we saw her with a healthy body. Now we have a question that came up. What are we looking at on the right and the left? Oh, so yeah, those are my lungs and my esophagus area and my neck is where mm -hmm. they found them all. The original area that they tested the cells from were from my neck where there was a lump found. That actually, okay. I, <laughs> and this is a um, PET scan. And we're looking at areas that are fast growing cells. All of you know what that means. And to have a young, beautiful woman like Nikki come in with the prognosis of looking, prognosis of looking at a possible four to six months of life, we were touched. And we took that and we made a determination that we were going to do all that we could to have that prognosis go away. Now she used, Nikki's especially healthy, and she used other technologies, other modalities, but she feels, tell us how you felt when you added, you told us about the patches and what difference it made, and then you told me one thing, that you felt like it was the cherry on top of the cake. Just so much that did, did exactly, I pulled it all together for you. Do you want to tell us anything more about that before we go? I mean, you know, I was doing everything when I started diving really back into biohacking and, and just what it could do for my body. And I was doing this prior to patching, but once I started patching, I really felt the energy. I felt the inflammation going away um, that I got. And it's, it's really hard to put into words. Um, so now I, I use X39 and glutathione during the day, and I use the AM at night um, with the Aleveda. Um, you know, once you dive in them and you're feeling great, you want to try the other ones. And <laughs> I know it's a lot to be putting patches on you every day, but it just becomes a way of life. And when you want to feel great, you put a patch on, you know, so it, it can't hurt. 